hey guys i welcome you all once again to my channel thank you so much for stopping by again today it's still your girl josephine aka josie passion i appreciate you for stopping by today i will be sharing with you guys the great oil i've been using to grow my hair for two and a half years this hair you are seeing here is just a journey of two and a half years and the hair grew like this with this aloe vera oil i will be showing you how to make guys please try out this recipe guys and you will see the result by yourself i do freeze my aloe vera before making use of it so that it will be easy for my blender to blend without adding any bit of water these are the aloe veras that i trimmed out from my aloe vera plant i don't throw it away guys each time i trim my aloe vera plant I put it inside the freezer and keep it for any time I want to use it for oil. You can use only the inside, that's the gel inside. You can as well use both the gel and the bag. I prefer using both of them because I feel like there's a lot of nutrients in it. I will be using this coconut oil I prepared the other day to cook the aloe vera. Do click on the link above to check it out. I've not tried using it with any other oil, but I know that it will be nice as well if you use like olive oil, castor oil, or any oil you prefer using on your hair. But for me, I prefer using coconut oil on my hair. Homemade coconut oil, not just coconut oil, but homemade. So the next thing I will be doing now is to add the aloe vera inside my blender and blend it. Remember I said you don't need to add any water. It will blend easily guys. But if you find it difficult to blend, just use something to push it down and it will start blending. That's the essence of freezing it first. Because when you start cooking it, you will notice that the aloe vera itself will produce a lot of water. So why then adding water to blend it? That's why you freeze it first so that it will be easy for your blender, okay? very important but before blending it make sure you bring it out from the freezer and keep it on your kitchen counter to defrost before you blend it now i will just blend it till it is smooth just few seconds it doesn't take a lot of time guys if you don't have blender at home you shouldn't worry what you have to do is just get fresh aloe vera grate it with your hand grater you don't need to freeze it you can just grate it with your hand grater before you start cooking it to bring out the oil once you are done blending the aloe vera you pour it inside your pan or your pot and start cooking it because we want to bring it to a boil before we add our oil but please cook on a low heat so you don't kill all the nutrients in the aloe vera when you use your coconut oil to make your aloe vera oil guys that's a double nutrient you are adding to your hair and your body because this oil i also apply it on my body because i'm not the type that goes for any cream that is costly if i use a cream today i'm not going back to it i go for cheap creams and i'm proud to say that but this is what I put inside my cream and mix it together before applying it. That's why when you see me shining, some people will be asking me, what cream are you using? I will tell them, guys, I don't know the name of the cream I'm using right now. Because it's not the one that I use this month, I'll be using next month. That's me for you. This oil is also good on the children's skin. Especially when you are living in the diaspora, you don't know the type of oil you will buy for your kids. Just prepare this aloe vera oil and be applying it on their skin. You will see the difference. Now the water has reduced to half. As you can see, this is not the same quantity it was when I started cooking it. So I will be adding my oil now. And I will stir it perfectly well and allow it to continue cooking. Now that I've added the oil, I will continue stirring it. The three major things I'm looking out for now is number one, for the water to dry out. Number two, for the aloe vera to change from green color to brown color or even black, depending on how long you cook it. 
but I will not be cooking this for so long because I still want it to retain its nutrients. And the three major things I will be looking out for is when the oil turns to green color. But I will continue stirring it because I don't want it to burn. Please guys, if you are watching up to this extent and you are not yet a member of this community, please kindly subscribe and enable notification so that you'll be among the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Just look down around the right side of your phone or your computer. You will see a word that says subscribe. Just click it and it will bring out a bell beside it. Also click it so that you'll be getting notification. Remember also to thumb up the video for me. You can as well comment down below or ask me any question you want to ask about this oil. And I will be glad to reply you. Feel free as well to share out the video because sharing is also free. Everything on YouTube is free. The oil is almost ready. If you look at it very well, you will see that the color of everything is changing, both the aloe vera and the oil color. But I do cook this for a total of 25 to 30 minutes. Now I will be sieving it out. Make sure that if you are sieving it out, you will use a glass plate. If you pour this directly inside a rubber plate or plastic plate, it will melt because the oil is still hot. On top of my plate, I will place my chiffon cloth on it so that it will not come out with its residue. If you don't have any chiffon cloth around you, you can use a clean stockings to sieve out the oil. And it's better you sieve it now that it is still hot so that you will bring out more oil from it. Because when you allow it to get cold, some of the oil will freeze. You will not be able to bring out a lot of oil from it. A lot of us know the benefits of applying aloe vera on your body or on your hair. But because of the protocols, bringing out the gel, mashing it, some of us don't do that. We don't have the time for it. Even me, I don't have the time for it. So this is a better way I put aloe vera on my hair or on my skin. By doing aloe vera oil, you, you don't need to wait till you have time to apply aloe vera on your skin or on your hair. Since it's still hot, I won't be pressing it out now because there is still a lot of oil inside this chiffon cloth. I will just take it out and put it aside. When it gets a little bit cold, I will press it out and bring out more oil from it. So guys, this is the final look of the aloe vera oil. Hope you will try this out soon and start using it on your skin or on your hair. Because it will make all your edges to grow back and it will make you to have a stronger hair. Now I will be transferring it into a container that I will use to store it. When transferring it into a container, don't put it inside a bottle spray because now that we are in winter, the oil might freeze and it will be difficult for you to bring out when you want to use it. Have you thumbed up the video for me yet? Please, if you are forgetting to do that, kindly thumb up the video for me. I appreciate you guys, my old subscribers. If you are new to my channel, like I said before, kindly subscribe, okay? Thank you so much for watching. This is almost the end of today's video. You can see how green the oil is looking. You remember the color of the oil before I used it to cook this aloe vera. So guys, do try out this aloe vera oil and let me know what you think about it on your skin and on your hair. You can drop me a message on my Instagram. If you don't have me on your Instagram, I'm using the same name that I use on my YouTube. Just type Josie Passion you will see me. This has been my hair for long before I started using aloe vera oil on my hair. And you can see the results after two and a half years. Thank you so much for watching. Bye and see you in my next video. 
God bless you all.